can't imagine what it must have been like for you watching as a coach as Caroline is missing free throws at the end of the game. This is like every coach's nightmare. They miss four three free throws in the last six seconds. So what impact could it have if the Tar Heels miss early free throws in tonight's game? Meg, I have to share this with you. It's a little yeah. bit of a digression, but as as I'm watching that, I'm talking to the head coach at University of Pennsylvania, Steve Dunhue, and the topic was this. When you're leading late in the game and you're shooting a foul shot, do you put your offensive rebounders in there to, to try to get a rebound or send them back to set up your defense? And I said, of course, you know, we'd have lost the game if I was coach. I said, you send them back. You send them back to set your defense up. You don't put any rebounders in there. Well, I think if North Carolina would have done that, I think they would have lost the game because, you know, they lose, a, they miss a free throw and, and uh, Oregon pushes up. They're going to get a shot and, and, and who knows, maybe, maybe uh, Oregon wins the game. So, so there you go. But it is a contagious thing. Those guys have been doing it for a long time. I think they're good foul shooters. You know, if you're going to look back and think about missing them before, then you're going to miss them. And I think they'll be tough enough to not look back and realize, okay, the game's over. We're good foul shooters. We're going to make them tonight. Mm. Now, Coach, depth is another storyline that we're kind of looking at here. You know, five Gonzaga players average at least 10 points a game, whereas Carolina has been a bit more reliant on Justin Jackson, Joel Berry, Kennedy Meeks to score. Is the depth an advantage here at all? Well, I've always felt like um, th those media timeouts, they, they come quick and they're awful long. You know, the, you can rest every four minutes. So, you know, those guys are used to it. it. Again, it's what are you used to? North Carolina is used to not having so much depth. They're used to playing, you know, with just the, the same amount of guys most of the game. You know, I think they're going to be just fine. And same thing with Gonzaga. They're, they're, they're used to doing what they do. So I'm not sure that's going to play, play into it either way.